Alright, let's see what's up with Ring Fight 64. Press and hold B to fly. Uh, I I played the game with a jetpack, but this is the first one that we quote unquote fly. Oh wait, I gotta double check the title? Ring flight, as in flying, not combat. Oh. I think my dude certainly got the sonic speed in his arc, because it's almost a little disorienting how fast he runs. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about running. We just gotta fly. But where could we possibly need to f <laughs> Just to go to show how wall jumping is hard coded into this game. I don't know, what are the odds of this game actually getting out updates? Because something like that kind of gives me the impression that this is, especially with how cheap it was. This is like a $30 game, by the way. Yeah, if you know the right places, you pretty much have access to an unlimited amount of games for just 30 bucks. Now it's up to you if the quality of the games is worth the 30 bucks, but don't forget that there's also a whole game builder included, and the game has, while it may feel a little handholdy at times, this game, this game does have lessons, and like whole tutorials, to the point where you'll never have to actually worry about not knowing what to do. Like, it'll literally guide you step by step through the creation of some of the, I like to call them templates in here. And I don't see a way to go up into the rocket ship. And they did fly for all the rings, right? Maybe I missed this one down here. Okay, and that's literally, literally the only thing keeping me from winning, I think. I mean, I got the cheer, still letting me fly through the rings, though. This thing debatably controls more awkwardly than Superman 64, and yet I am willing to get this more prices than Super Mario 64. Because I, I didn't even think, I didn't even realize this was possible in this engine until just now. So that's neat. Now I kind of wonder if that chair was just every time I fly for that last ring in general, or if there's something else I'm kind of overlooking. Uh, I'm going to just take advantage of the fact I can fly and play around here a little bit more. Well, let me fly out of bounds. Doesn't look like there's invisible walls. Oh, no, 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 no. There is deed is no invisible walls. Fly, my good man. Fly as your life depends on it. Because otherwise, you'll be stuck in the void forever. <laughs> I can destroy the robots. Before I end it off, I just gotta make sh sure nothing happens when I destroy all the robots. Just something like that tells me like I need to destroy everything and fly through all the rings to actually trigger the ending. Just making sure nothing else is destructible. You are you destructible, good sir? No, you are not. Actually, I can punch. You are indeed not destructible. Okay. I'm done fiddling around here. Actually, I should probably, like, just open it up and see if there's any code that would indicate that there's an ending I'm overlooking. If there's ever the next time, I should... Mm. I should have a mouse prepared for next time. Because it definitely would be easier than the controller. Oh dear, it's the case with this too. Slightly not, not as bad as to having Toad be the A button input though. I mean, like, if I was on my own time and handheld and I could just super zoom out, maybe. But it's probably not worth the time looking into. So that was fun. There's not much depth to it, but I 
appreciate it for the mechanic in and of itself. Let's see what else is out there. Alright, so code for this one is... G, because they're all games, so they all start with G. 6... 2... <laughs> eh, it kind of looks like a generic 3D platformer, but you can't judge a book by its cover. Let's see what potential possibly lies in this cakewalk flip. Ah! Okay! <laughs> I take back what I said, like, you, no matter what, I gotta get this prop for the mechanic. I mean, it's, it's definitely unique for this engine. I, I can see that it's not perfect, but it's definitely functional. This is literally like the whole Super Mario Galaxy, I guess 3D World would be more accurate because these are actually triggered by jumping and not just a second spin action. <laughs> Don't know if that's intentional, but I'll take it. You could probably like make a some sort of fun game mechanic with that. So yeah, that's... I can't believe it's already over, but that was definitely cooler than I thought. Okay, yeah. Definitely intentional, because I think you, that's exactly what I gotta do in order to get up on top of these platforms and then make the jump towards the pole. Except, let me try that again. Mm. Here, maybe I can catch myself on this side. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. I don't even think it matters how I just play full, but it was worth trying that way. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's just a shame that it was as short as it was. Because I really like that panel flipping mechanic. You know what, maybe we can learn a little bit more of how it works. I keep freaking pressing plus. I gotta go into the game and then press plus. But I'm definitely gonna rate it well just for that mechanic in of itself. So these are boxes over here. Oh, looks like there's a lot of little tiny stuff going on in the mix here. Okay, those are the different... Hold on, is it all just one object with two different pixels? What is... Hinge connector. I'm not gonna like take the time to try to dissect it completely, but there's definitely all these detailed complex notes that I kind of got a feeling won't be explained in the tutorial, and they're for more advanced programmers. We'll get there eventually. I at least I'll get there eventually, and better understanding it. So let me double check how long I've been streaming. About an hour, 45 minutes. I'll see. Well, maybe I'll, I'll go for two more levels and see how I feel. Again, I was originally going to... I was originally going to go for some of the lessons in here, but I think, I think we can all agree that it's much more interesting to see other people's levels. I can go for the lessons on my own time and maybe take away if I find something interesting bringing the show and tell for the class sort of ordeal. Alright. And I just played that. Yeah. yeah, this is the only problem. When you, when like your vote I presume my vote ratio versus the total number of levels submitted 
is high, and that's why this keeps happening. Because it only, like, it, it usually takes a little bit of voting for me to reach this point, and I only presume that, like, I'm starting to get duplicates because I'm voting so much. And, like, it's a, it's, I assume, like, there's, there's definitely a lot more Mario Maker levels out there than there are games for this game. And again, I gotta remind myself, this game is still really, really young. Kirby's Curse, Curse 3D. I, I figure it was only a matter of time before we got something like this. It's been way too long since I've found cursed Nintendo concepts. Alright. Hi! Be the whoop. Why the eight? <laughs> oh my god, it's got the toe voice. It's the toe voice. That's jumping. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a treat, isn't it? Okay, no one heal. Honestly, it's a shame. Maybe I'm asking too much, but I would have loved if you could have like pulsing swift to eat. Because, you know, Kirby. But I assume I just have to be holding B button when I run into something. <laughs> oh my god, the feet. Oh, this is really a treat. I know where this is going and I hate it. Did I win? Um, no idea. I'm gonna, I'll try, I'm gonna try to do that as little as possible. We can make the jumping stop temporarily if I, like, keep pressing the jump button. I think I made the feet worse. My god, I know this specifically said that it's cursed, but I hate looking at that. And she's gone. I ate her. No, I'm gone. I'm trapped. This is the void that I left myself in. I agree, creator. This is the art that I signed up for. Sorry, this is going to be useful for later. I think we've abbreviated everything that could possibly have to offer. Let's see what else is out there. That's my 60th Mario game garage level. Wow. I've really been at it with this game. Alright. What do we got this time? G... Zero, zero. Two... Do. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm like liking how my streaming commentary is going because I know this kind of just become me being reactionary. Not even like talking about stories and that anymore. But I mean, this I feel like the games themselves are bringing the content to the stream, so there's that in itself. All right. Oh, hey, this is actually good sprite work. It's kind of... I hate to be like this, but this is actually making me... This is actually reminding me of another Sonic game that I saw. I, I like the way they implement the homing attack. It's obviously not perfect, but I mean, for what this is, that I feel like it's done pretty well. This is a Chaos Emerald. Collect all seven to transform into Invisible Super Sonic. Okay, so we, they even got emeralds in the mix of here, too. Uh, let me guess. Oh, no, no, no. Don't... Please tell me you have a death box. 
that's the very least you can do with a 3D platformer. Please give me a death box and just not make me have to manually reset. He's still alive down there somewhere. Somewhere our hedgehog lives. Nah. No more. I'm just gonna. The question is, is it even worth going back for the Chaos Emerald? When I could. So, I mean, the big problem with platforming Game Builder Garage, especially 3D platforming, it's a little slippery. I, that's the best way I can describe it. Making platformers in Game Builder Garage, especially 3D platformers, is a choice, a risk, because precise platforming in a 3D plane does not work. It's not as easy as it looks in this game. It doesn't help that, like, whenever I get close to dying, I kind of <laughs> hit a panic button. You're kidding me. Does this have boosting, too, though? Eh, I mean, like, I personally would have added, like, a visual effect or something, but... Sure. Oh! <laughs> oh, I thought I, my game was as end right there. Alright. I keep meaning to say, and the game seems to really not want me to say it, this rem reminds me of another game that, I, ironically enough, I didn't actually see in Grandpa's Game Builder Garage. I actually found another site that at you can actually host, that you can actually search for specific levels. And now I gotta do it all over again. Oh! I that it actually like killed the score, so I assumed that it recognized that I died, but still not restarting me. Uh, I'll give it one more go. It just sucks to have to redo everything all over again. It can, and I know that's just the effect of Game Builder Garage, but Collecting the rings kind of looks like you're eating up Cheetos or something, which just seems funny for a Sonic game. Yeah. Maybe I can pull it up real quick before ending off the stream. But it actually looks really... The sprite work in that is really neat, too. And... Maybe it's just, like, I'm giving that impression because... It's a, it seemed like it felt fast. You know what, let me see if I- I might even have it still saved. Prob- something tells me I don't, but I might still have it saved somewhere. If not, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Let me just look it up real quick. I, I was gonna say, in the meantime, fish. But this works too. Even less interaction I have to worry about with the screen for that. Yeah, I seen it going around on Twitter, the Sonic 3D 2.0. Custom sprite work and all that. There's, I think like I saw it on Twitter and that's why I thought I tried it already. So let me just get the code for that. Excuse me. <clears throat> Shoot, sorry. I thought I had a burp in me. But I don't. At least it won't want doesn't want to come out right now. A B C D E F G. Now you know your one, two, threes. Sonic 3D Green Hill 2.0. I guess I haven't tried it yet. It looked really cool from the Twitter preview. Though, I kind of get the feeling the Sonic game that I already played has a lot more depth to it. But, eh, let me just see for myself. <laughs> I like how, like, I assume it's a dash. It's literally called Go Fast. Yeah, I guess what it is, is like, this has a little momentum to it. 
So it kind of feels like it moves faster than the other one. Wait, is this tank controls? Sort of. And it's definitely more slippery, so I'm glad there's not as many bottomless pits to worry about. But yeah, it's kind of neat. Just run around, be fast, and d it's a little slippery, but it does have that sonic feel. <laughs> oh no. I've made it worse. I've unleashed madness. What have I done? Oh, it's time to find out if they have a death box. <laughs> I don't think they do. Alright, let me see if I can... Do it properly. By properly, let's see if I can... What the heck this thing does without going... Uh, I can't... Oh, I'm stuck on the... I'm stuck on the Sanic Ball. That's the problem. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I I thought I could control this thing, but no. It's controlling me. What have I done? Why I... Well, I, I got myself free from the Sonic Ball, or the Sanic Ball, I think is what they're going for. Welp. I'm going to just assume that you can't defeat the Sanic and be on my merry way. Pretend that none of that ever happened. Looks like they got some cool things up here. And I wanted to see what was up with that. Oh, does this spring do, do what I think it does? Yeah. Wonder like how hard it would be to add invisible ball or visible walls to mix in there. Near's rings, they don't turn into Cheetos when you collect them. Which, are, debatably, is more realistic. It's kinda not as satisfying, but... And I know, like, there's only so much you can do with the music in Game Maker Garage, because, like, it's all preset, if I'm understanding correctly. But I like the music they chose for this. I feel like it does fit perfectly for the Green Hill zone vibe. Like, I feel like this is the music you would choose for Green Hill Zone. If I had any criticisms, it'd just be the controls are wonky. But I can kind of see why you would need the controls to be this way in order to capture the feel of the speed. Let's see, I assume, like, getting these red rings, if there's any sort of objective to this, it would be collecting the red rings. But this kind of just fun running around here. And I, I never actually really got into like the Sonic fan game community or the Sonic Grom hack community or anything like that. But I have seen, I know people who do and I've heard enough from them to like, this reminds me of a really solid beta that I saw share on, on Twitter of like a free roaming Sonic game. And now I'm just really getting the urge to play that. Because this is like that good, that neat. Alright. Again, I'm not sure if there's really too much. Take my criticisms and my could have, should have, would have with a grain of salt because I do acknowledge that this is a dairy limited engine. I'm just like saying literally whatever's on my mind while I'm playing this for the sake of not being completely silent while I'm actually streaming on the Twitch.television platform. I, I wonder if we'll ever get to a point in society where we don't know what a television is. Because televisions are already becoming more and more computers and less like the original tubes that the television st stood for. I wonder, and like a lot of people like me just use their televisions as a computer monitor. It's like, I mean, as society shifts more into like a streaming era and, and just like technology more technology focused around computer monitors over 
television boxes. I wonder if we'll ever get to a point where, like, no one knows what a television is anymore. And it's just all stuff. It's all tele... It's all screens. Like, we're already kind of at a point where, like... I think, like, it won't be too much longer now before, like, the general internet audience doesn't know what a floppy disk is. It's kind of a miracle that I still know what a floppy disk is. Like, I feel like that that piece of technology just came right at an end of an era. Like, they were just becoming obsolete when I was in, like, elementary school. And I... My biggest floppy disk memory was with on a Windows 95 computer in this game called Cats. And I forget, I think the game itself was on a CD, but you could save your cat, your virtual cats with a floppy disk. I don't even know what's up with that unorthodox thing. Oh wait, I think I see the goal. This whole time I was running around, I didn't even realize that there was an endpoint. <laughs> Question is how I get up to that endpoint. I was gonna just end end off here whenever I felt done talking, but now I kind of want to... If there's an end, I kind of want to see what there is to that end. And every time I see that face off in the corner, ugh, I get the temptation, but I must resist the temptation. Because you, you know the whole thing. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I always forget how the third part goes. Mm. Oh, oh. For a minute there, we were going through quite the frame drop Armageddon. And maybe that's a sign that I should play something else. Oh, no. Now that I have the sound, I really got on my own time looking into how the inner workings of that. Something tells me that's going to be fun. <laughs> now, that would be a good point to end off on, but I'm kind of like curious to see if I can get one more level off this site before I call it a night. Let's see. G... Zero, zero... Two F X three. Besides, like if we if we stall to nine o'clock, then I have a good idea who we can raid. I mean, assuming that no one else's rate is streaming. Didn't I just play this? I was gonna say, like, if I find someone, if I find a smaller streamer in my follows list, I, I'll, I'll probably rate them instead, but if we wait until 9 o'clock, I have a good fallback option. Generally fun streamer. Chill to hang around, fun to play with. Uh, I already, I definitely already bolted for this one already, but I completely forgot to sh show it. You know what? I'm refreshing the page, but we're gonna end off with Alien Hunter. It's in here somewhere. Maybe I can see if I can actually get into the end this time. See if actually having a controller and not the touchscreen monitor helps. Because I like the concept of this, but there's a certain element of it that's a little finicky, for lack of a better way to describe it. So you jump. You shoot with the shoulder button. All that stare. But, uh, I don't know, these are supposed to be aliens or just flat out people. Whatever they are, they are certainly annoying to kill. Because, like, you get too close to them, they just charge at you like a... There's definitely some enemies in some shooter games that come to mind, but I'm not thinking of them right now. But they practically home in on you the moment you get too close to them. And, like, if you don't already have them almost dead by the time you do so... Then you are pretty much dead. I think we're gonna get find that out right now! 
how did I survive that? But yeah, they just go right at you. And they have no hit stun. The only thing separating them from you is the sweet relief of death for them. So, like, I have no shame with cheesing them out whenever I see them. Like, even though I died at the final boss, I find those enemies in particular more dangerous than the final boss of this game. Alright, is there one more hiding on the side here? No. What it is, though, there's one at the very front of the elevator. Or right around this corner, I think. It's somewhere, and it's annoying. Oh my god, there it, here it comes. I think we're gonna die. No? Not sure how I survived that ordeal. Oh. If people are just here to chill, that's fine. You don't need to say anything. But I'm a little worried that the chat's not working, so... Um... There is one easy way to make sure that's not the case without, like, pressuring people. There. That should automatically refresh the chat. Alright, boss time. Oh, I forgot to pick up the healing items. So, yeah, I want to avoid the balls. The aliens kind of got annoying after a bit. I'm just spamming this thing and hoping that it works. Yo, it's working. Oh, hey, Doxy. Oh. Is it, are you just now saying hello, or <laughs> was my suspicions right and I wasn't working? Because if it wasn't, like, what it probably was, was, sometimes when they have the chat popped out, ironically, so I can, so it can be seen in the stream layout, sometimes it, like, if I tap on too many other windows, it somehow affects the chat preview screen I have on OBNS. And I just can't see Dilly Squat then. If, if you were trying to say hi before, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ignore you, obviously. Alright. Yeah, it freaks me out because they have the sound effect tied to the location, not the enemy. And, that, and that's cool. Again, people can enjoy however they want. I just want to make sure that if people are trying to chat along, that I'm... That, that, that I can actually see them. In fact, like, I lurk... I lurk on streams myself a lot. So I definitely get how it feels. Alright, so that takes care... Of a bunch of the enemies. Full health. Good to go. I'm not sure if it's the fact that I'm using controller and not trying to play this in handheld. Or if I'm just getting better at taking care of those guys, but I can appreciate it either way. It's a, they're a lot less. This game's a lot less annoying when I can get back to the part that I keep dying on, without like dying to those things randomly. Man, it's a bit of a shame they can't go back and farm for health. Um, something tells me that I'm making a mistake, and I should just have uh, been trying to snipe from the back. Because I can't... I don't think I can properly defend myself from the enemies this way. Like, I mean the little aliens. And this is a random thing to bring up. Oh wait, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, is there actually a way to tell if I'm actually doing damage to it by paying attention to a spell? But no, it's not gonna be that detailed. Ugh. I'll give it one more go. Actually, maybe I can, like, some, maybe I can use the programmer to, now I'm not going to bore you all with the details. I was trying to see if there's a way I could see how much HP the boss alien had just by sniping through the cold, but eh, that feels a little too much. Anyways, like, if you can tell, my strat 
is to save the health for these annoying pricks. Cause there's can they can there's times that they sneak up and snipe me, and once they get you to pursue, it can take a lot of health just to get them off your back. And so it's nice to have that backup health. But if I can cheese them from the corners and that, I am a okay with that too. I may regret that. I may have wanted to come back for it later. But I've been pretty good at the past few attempts. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Like, I, I don't know why I've been so obsessive over checkpoints, but I would love to have a checkpoint right before this boss fight. I kinda wonder like if it would be possible to add in a function like that to Game Builder Garage, because like how it worked, I can't speak for everyone, but how I would, and how I think a lot of other people program death, is they make it an object destroy thing, like your person your object, if the person object gets destroyed, it's considered a death. And then like you have a collision variable stuff of just like, if the object is destroyed, then do whatever stuff I want to do when the character dies. Whether it be restart the game, play a bad end jingle, whatever it may be. Ugh. And like, I would love some feet. I don't know if it's possible in this engine. But I would love some feedback letting me know if I was actually damaging this thing. Yeah, I gave it an, I gave it a few honest tries. But it's 